Hello and welcome back to Abu Dhabi. Day two of competition at the Grand Slam and the latest edition of Golden Score. Good evening, Neil. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> uh, wow. we, we've seen some great judo today, haven't we? Uh, and a lot of different uh, variants of uh, uh, combinations. We've seen some uh, transitions as well. Uh, we've seen some really sweet as she was as, as well. Uh, it's just been great and uh, full of action. And even that, that last final there was brilliant. Loved it. And then my particular favourite, some knee was, uh, and we've got someone, our first guest in actual fact, who's a specialist in knee was. So I'm delighted to welcome in Ljubljana Piovasana, the bronze medal winner in the under 63 kilo category from Austria. Congratulations. <laughs> come in the middle, come in the middle. You had a great tournament, didn't you? It was a really it good was day. a good one. Yeah. It was a good day. Yeah. We're just saying that it's my particular favorite, not only Nawaza, but that particular technique, beautifully executed. And there's been a small bit of correction because we know we had a little bit of an issue with the, with the sitting up and the pressure on the neck. That's been removed. Yeah, so before the sec top Sengaku is now, I think, not allowed to sit up now. You get a Hansokomaki, so I tried a different Sengaku for the first... Use mine. <laughs> okay, I tried a different Sengaku for the first time, and it worked, and I've been practicing this the last few weeks, and I was really pleased to pull it off now in the competition. Yeah. Nice, nice one. Had you fought her before? Uh, we fought in the under-23 Europeans in 2018, but she's now a really strong athlete, so I was really nervous. We haven't even done Rendori so much together, so I was happy to stay calm and that it, uh, the outcome was great. <laughs> well, we're really pleased for you. Thank you. Thanks. What's up for you next? I uh, fight the Europeans next week, so it's quite... Keeping yourself busy then. <laughs> it's really busy. We had the Austrian Championships last week, so then it's Christmas for me after the Europeans, and then I can rest for a while after. Well, big, big congratulations. Christmas, uh, big celebration. Christmas tree's up straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to put the Christmas tree? Straight, straight, straight after away. the Europeans, Christmas tree that's comes. That's going up, up isn't it? Yeah. Have you done your Christmas shopping? Not no. yet. That's safe. No, 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 that's, that's for a bit later. Listen, many congratulations. Okay. Just tell me what little uh, little bits you uh, changed with, just with that little bit with the Nawaza. Um, I think now I just came from the top end of the Sangaku instead of my normal, I come from behind. And then I just squeeze and just try to not sit up on top of them. Yeah, I think sometimes we forget to squeeze, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Look for the old side commie all the time, but uh, forget to squeeze. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, we can magic. take a look. We can yeah. take oh, a look let's have a look. Like look, we got it. We got it. Up there. Yeah. You could talk us through it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell us, were you a bit nervous here? Yeah, I was really nervous yeah. because I had a few fifth places, so I didn't want to get another fifth, so I was... So at this stage? Yeah, the legs came in quite easy for me, actually, and then I was like, oh, I'm actually holding her down. And then it was a bit hard here to like tie the legs, and then I felt secure. And then I was just waiting for the 20 seconds to be up. <laughs> Readjustment of balance, isn't yeah. it? And then, and, and yeah. I, I, like you said, just squeeze, because that's exactly what I said in the commentary. She's got to squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> but I was not sure if it was a Vazari was scored before, so I, I was not sure if it was 10 seconds or 20, so I was just holding and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> just holding for, for, for life. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, good luck with the Europeans oh, next week. Thank you. Yeah, thank good you. luck. <laughs> Piana Piervasana, the bronze medal winner in the under 63 kilo category. I think we're going to move straight on to the silver medal winner in the under 70 kilo category, Ida Eriksson. It's the first time that we've had uh, Ida out here. So let's, uh, let's give her a big welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ida. How are you? Congratulations. Oh, Thank you. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoyed watching you today. Went right through. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you. You know, some, sometimes an athlete will come out in the middle here and they tell us, yeah, I expected uh, uh, to be here. Same for you today? Uh, no. Uh, this is my first competition back after I dislocated my elbow in uh, Papendal in July. Uh, so I didn't expect anything today. <laughs> I was just happy to be on the mat again. And yet everything seemed to be working. It went really well. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe like just being back took away some pressure Tell in me some when way. it changed, you know, like to, you, you said that you started the day, didn't really expect. So every contest was a bonus for you. Um, yeah. And, was, uh, and it got better and better, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> and then in the semi-final, it was a long fight, a tough fight. And... Uh, it was just like a click and I was like, I, I really don't want to fight in the bronze fight. I just want to get to the final. Yeah, you want to at least get to the final. <laughs> yeah. I've got a medal. But, uh, and then uh, the, with the final, did it go according to plan? Uh, no, not really. Like, of course, I'm disappointed. Uh, 
because even if this was not what I expected, you always want more. <laughs> so. Of course, but you learned from it. Yes. And uh, if you look back, there, there were a few openings uh, in there because she wasn't at her best either. No, or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I never we, fought her before. So. Well, we didn't think so because we've seen her quite a, uh, quite a lot. And maybe when you look back, you weren't that far away. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> I trust you. You look, watch a lot of judo, so. Ne <laughs> ne know. Next time round, then. Ne <laughs> next time round. Yes. And what is next for you? Are you doing the Europeans yes. as well? Okay, going to be a busy time for you as well. Yes, and then we have one week off, and then we go to Japan for some time at uh, training camps, and then Tokyo Grand Slam. Great, so you've got a busy time for, for the rest of the year. We and wish you Christmas. good luck next week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes very much. Uh, good luck for next week, uh, and uh, uh, have a good Christmas as well. I've been training in Japan, first of all. We're going to see you in Japan anyway. Uh, nice. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very Good much up. again. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to uh, bring in Action Man. We have to give him that, don't we? <laughs> it's Frank DeWitt, the silver medal winner in the under 81 kilo category. <laughs> Frank, good to see you out here. Yeah. Not, um, not quite the, the medal that we were looking for, yeah? <laughs> we uh, met in the corridor, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did, did, yeah, yeah. To be honest. Tell everybody now, we, we met in the corridor. Actually, it was the last Grand Slam final for me. It was here in 2017. Yeah. And then I won it, so I was like, yeah, it would be nice to win it again. I also won my Junior Worlds in Abu Dhabi, actually. Did you? It's, it's a good place, place for yeah, you, good then. Place for me. It's a good yeah. place and, and a good result. I mean, this uh, silver medal, okay, so it's a good result. I, I mean, 81 yeah. is so competitive, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's always a tough category, yeah. actually. It's quite funny because the Karab Dian came to me after the medal ceremony. He said, do you remember me? And I was like, no. He <laughs> said, yeah, in 2019, I asked you uh, for Andorra and you said no to me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. To just revenge here. Yeah. <laughs> was it payback then? <laughs> it was a yeah, little bit payback. payback again. Yeah. Actually, I, 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 there were a few moments in there where both Neil and myself thought, you're going to catch him now. Yeah. He just but seemed to be a bit slippery. Yeah. He got off. Yeah, he got <laughs> off a couple times. Yeah. I don't know, I never fought him before, but I think next time we'll have a better game plan. We should have given him that Randori in 2019. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was going to say, don't tell us the game <laughs> plan now, uh, just keep that a secret. Uh, but I mean, we, you know, we, we always say that you always come out, you always give 100%, and it's always, you know, it's game on, look, mm -hmm. let's, get, let's get going. Yeah, I think everyone gives 100%, but for me, it's like without uh, thinking about all the risks sometimes. Yeah and just going in and I want to score. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Like the last couple of months uh, after the Olympics, I think it didn't always work out. But it uh, worked out in the semi-final. Yeah, it worked <laughs> out in the semi-final, nice yeah. Do you, you want to see that then? <laughs> yeah, I would like to see that. <laughs> okay, well, let's have a look at that. <laughs> you could talk us through it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's actually quite funny because you don't see a lot of people cross and make a Kosoto. <laughs> but that is a climbing Kosoto. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? Uh, you do climb on you top climb of him. You climb on him. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you yeah, take nice your chances see, with it, don't you? Sometimes when you're making the readjustment with it, you know, yeah. sometimes you're on top of it, sometimes it, it doesn't quite work out. Which yeah. happened actually, didn't it? In uh, when, when you got caught backwards there. The, the yeah. It was just that one, one, one time, wasn't it? Yeah, I was a little bit hesitant actually because he was me a little bit, uh, yeah, he beat me to the punch actually a little bit. That's, that's because, the point, isn't it? Because we were both standing like this and yeah. he swept my feet right when I wanted to go in same actually. Time, the and same then time. he went in and then it was too late for me to, to turn it back actually. And after that maybe, if you have a little bit more luck and a little bit more smartness in the match, I could still, still win it, win maybe. It. And you know that. And I, know I, it. I think that's one of the key points, isn't it? Is that you know it inside as yeah. well. Inside yeah, inside, uh, you have to believe it. Yeah, otherwise, of course. Otherwise, you can... Uh, otherwise, why do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah there, there are two things that I normally say are guaranteed in judo. One of them is entertainment in a team event. The second is you're going to get action when you watch Frank De Witt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice compliment. But it is, yeah. it's guaranteed. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. <laughs> we call you action, man, but yeah. uh, we take it in the right way because uh, yeah. we mean it in the nicest possible way. Um, European Championships next week? European Championships next week. Yeah, quite looking forward, actually. Nice to put some rounds in here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. European is a uh, big goal for me, actually, no, still this year. Yes. It's my last tournament also of the year, so... 
You're not going to do Tokyo? No. no, I'm not going to do Tokyo. Yeah. I'm going to Bali with my girlfriend after the European <laughs> show. Eh? Sometimes you have to go there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you take the points from here as well. Good points yeah. as well. Good so points for the Olympics yeah. and it uh, gives me also a little bit rest because I think it's smart to have now the vacation and then after we can train and start the Olympic year with a, in a really good shape and then make it a nice year. Yeah, I think, I think you. you were right. You, you <laughs> said a lot of mat time, you know, yeah, the, the yeah. more mat time you get. Yeah, and, with some, and, and there were quality yeah. fighters here still. Yeah. It was uh, really, uh, but 81 is always quality yeah. field, I, I think. Yeah. Good. Fantastic. Well, good luck uh, out of the European Championships. Thanks and uh, have a nice uh, break with your girlfriend. I will. All right, Thanks. OK, <laughs> and enjoy. Say hello to mum and dad for me. <laughs> yeah, I will. Thank <laughs> you. Take care. All the very best, <laughs> you. All the best. Right, Frank DeVitt, uh, silver medal winner in the under 81 kilo category. It was nice to hear about that thing with Dav uh, David uh, Carapetti. Yeah, no, it's great, isn't it? Because, I mean, you, yeah, and, and the thing is, is that he knows that, you know, he takes chances. And like he said, he said, sometimes it comes off and sometimes it doesn't, you know. And uh, so, but, you know, for some people, that would really matter. For me, it would have really mattered, but for it him, takes it, yeah, it takes it in his stride. Takes it yeah. in his stride, and he says, "Right, you Ready know, I got more. One. I got more mat time." <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Um, you've uh, picked. Oh, up we, a I've got four. We got four. Right. All right, okay. we got three um, uh, uh, counters, and then we've got one just just to finish off on because it, it was beautiful. It's what I want to uh, finish off on. Right. All right. So let's have a look at the counters first off. So just, uh, I mean, there were three absolute crackers. All right, uh, and uh, so Sianagi, look at that. Uranagi just uh, just takes him back there. Just uh, uh, and it, it was brilliant stuff. I mean, the Sianagi just wasn't quite there. See it from a different angle here. We're going to see the Sianagi. Yes, we are. Uh, look at the full commitment there for the Uranagi. Takes him backwards there, absolutely flat onto his back. Uh, three, three different angles there, we've got it. So the Cien Aggie was a really good Cien Aggie, all right, but uh, the Yoko Garuma there just stepping round uh, and uh, the full commitment, full control of the back. Second one, uh, let's just have a look at the second one. And uh, the Uranagi here, leg assisted Uranagi, and I think that's what I loved about it. It, it, uh, it was not just uh, arm around the waist and then using the hips. All right, but it was absolutely, look at the legs start to go up, but uh, so, uh, we're used to the kind of Harborelli one, aren't we? With, uh, and uh, he took the opposite leg up. We're gonna see it again one, one more time. Last, last angle here, goes in and uh, he just scoops it up there. And we've seen so many different variations of this, haven't we now from the front and from the back. Here's the third one. Yes, uh, the eventual gold medalist there winning through. Look at this one. This one for me is absolute magic. And the, the reason it's magic is uh, that um, the reverse Kataguruma goes in. And uh, we were talking about this, weren't we? That how did that happen? And it was the change of the body movement. And it was just a slight turn uh, from, from the Kataguruma there and his opponent there, Blue, just absolutely guides him down to the ground there. And that was a full body movement, change of body uh, direction, and, um, and, and that feel of judo, which is so important. It just is a body swerve and uh, great control. We've been talking about kata coming up. <laughs> and, and, and telling, no, yeah. th there is a movement in there where you, you step one way and, you, and, and turn the other, yeah. and his feet want to go this way, yeah. his back's going the other. Well, I, I'm, I, we're talking about kata, have a look at this one because uh, Yonazuka, just watch this uh, because this is a magical uh, Akuriyashi uh, that uh, just starts to skip to the side here. And I just, uh, I, I, it's nothing to do with counters, but I just loved it here. Skip to the side, just catches the feet coming together. Absolute poetry. And, uh, and when I say it's poetry in motion, all right, because that's what Ashiwaza is, isn't it? All right, when you catch somebody moving, it's hardly anything on the hands. The only thing the hands do here is control it down. He just sweeps the foot away there. And it's uh, using your opponent's own movement and balance and direction against himself. And he just takes him flat on his back.
I, I agree with you. That has to be one of the best um, best actions of the day. Oh, just magic. Yeah. I just loved it. Anyway, so I, I, it, the whole uh, theme was going to be uh, counters, and then I thought, I can't Good finish one. without that. Brilliant. Uh, we also have to mention uh, Ahad of, of Uzbekistan, who was a gold medal winner in the under-73 kilo category. Absolutely fantastic yeah, um, no, just amazing. Um, watch today. Yeah, uh, I mean, we've seen some great judo, and, uh, you know, there's been Ippons going all over the place. I had a, a two sheets full of Ippons that I could have used, <laughs> and I just uh, picked out. I thought, well, we'll go with counters, and then we'll go with that, because I loved it. Right, um, let's hope that we get more action uh, tomorrow, the, uh, the same that we had today. Uh, we're going to be back with uh, the third and final day of competition from this year's Abu Dhabi uh, Grand Slam. But from Neil Adams and myself, bye-bye for now. Bye for now.